John C. Calhoun, 1782-1850, of South Carolina was quite possibly of the most powerful legislator in the U.S. and a main voice for the South during the prior to the war period. He filled in as a U.S. Delegate, Secretary of War, VP and Secretary of State, and had a long profession in the U.S. Senate, during which he arose as a straightforward safeguard of states' freedoms and the foundation of bondage. Early life and profession John Caldwell Calhoun was naturally introduced to an enormous Scots-Irish family on an estate in rustic South Carolina on Walk 18, 1782. His dad, Patrick Calhoun, battled in the progressive conflict and was chosen for the South Carolina Assembly. After it finished, Patrick kicked the bucket when John was 13, and his three more seasoned siblings helped pay for his schooling. Calhoun in the end went to Yale College in Connecticut, graduating in 1804. He concentrated momentarily at Litchfield Graduate School in Connecticut prior to getting back to South Carolina, where he got comfortable Abbeville in 1808, not long subsequent to doing the bar assessment, Calhoun was chosen for the South Carolina lawmaking body from his new region. He won political decision to the U.S. place of delegates two years after the fact and had his spot. Among a gathering of representatives known as Inquat, Warhawks, and Quat, who decried English hostility against American ships and upheld measures that would prompt the conflict of 1812. With his 1811, Union with Floride Bono Colhoun, a cousin of his dad and an individual from one of South Carolina's most noticeable families, Calhoun joined the state's tip-top grower class, from Patriot to state's privileges safeguard after the settlement of Ghent in 1815, Calhoun assumed a significant part in the aggressive country-building endeavors drove by his kindred representative, Henry Mudd. These incorporated the foundation of the Second Bank of the U.S., governmentally financed interior enhancements and high defensive taxes to support the development of American assembling. Calhoun left Congress in 1817 to become U.S. Secretary of Battle in the organization of James Monroe. In that job, he reinforced the country's military, redesigning the military as well as the new U.S. Military Institute at West Point. An early official up and comer in 1824, he effectively won political decision as bad habit official after allies of both Andrew Jackson and John Quincy Adams supported him. At that point, official and bad habit official competitors didn't run on a solitary ticket. The official race was concluded in the place of delegates, which disputably casted a ballot for Adams notwithstanding Jackson's triumph in the famous vote. Shocked by this and quat, bad deal, and quat, Calhoun progressively went against Adams' ardent Federalist strategies. With Jackson's official triumph as head of the new leftist faction in 1828, Calhoun was again chosen as VP. That very year, section of a high defensive duty, referred to in the South as the levy of detestations, started furious opposition in South Carolina. At the encouraging of the state lawmaking body, Calhoun composed a secretly distributed leaflet called Inquat, Peace and Dissent Inquat, which contended that states reserved the option to invalidate any activity by the central government they considered illegal, and even to withdraw from the association if important.